The Fox Drop Frame is a little bit different than your normal helmet, and it's pretty obvious why. But before we talk about why, I want to say that this is not an in-depth review of all the specs and all that sort of stuff. This is a user review of my experience with it so far. So if you want all the specs, head over to Fox's website. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about why this is such a unique helmet. I like to think of this helmet as sort of a hybrid between a full face and an open face helmet. And I think it's just the perfect mixture of both of them. It has ear protection and farther down on the back of the head protection to keep your head safe when you fall backwards and onto the side. We've seen this in other previous helmets, but I think Fox does it best. They leave an open ear spot so that you can hear and so that it's not a thousand degrees inside. The way I thought of this helmet when I first heard that it was coming out was I thought that it was basically just a full face without a chin bar, but turns out it is totally different. This is, I would think of it more of a trail helmet than a full face helmet. This is because it is made to be extremely lightweight and breathable, unlike a full face that's made 100% just for protection. Which brings us into one of the first major points of why this helmet's so awesome. It is extremely light. I can pick it up with my pinky. Well, I should probably be able to do that with any helmet, but it's super easy to do. In fact, it's so light that most of the time when I was wearing this helmet, I forgot that I was even wearing a helmet. And funny story, one time I was riding, the first time I was riding with this, halfway through the trail, I thought that I had forgotten my helmet until I went like this and was like, oh wait, this helmet's light. So if you're looking for an extremely light helmet, then this is a very good option. Let's talk about some of the other special things about this helmet. It is extremely breathable. With about 18 air holes, and most of them being pretty big, this allows for quite a lot of air throw, and it's perfect for summer rides. During most previous summer rides, I would take off my helmet to a sweaty mess. Not with this helmet. Surprisingly, it doesn't collect sweat at all, and my head wasn't sweating very much at all. And I don't know how it's working like that, but there's some magic behind it, and it's some pretty good magic. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about the safety features, like the protection on the ears and the back of the head a little bit more. When you fall onto the back of your head, your helmet will naturally move and your head will roll backwards a little bit, which will cause part of your head to hit the ground and possibly get damaged, along with the side of your head. This sort of prevents that, sort of like a full face, with more protection on the back of the head, along with the protection on the ears, which will keep your head from rolling when you fall onto the side of your head. And talking about the protection on the helmet, it does not have MIPS, but it has some pretty hefty pads. This helmet has more thick and durable pads than your average trail helmet. The cheek pads, especially on this helmet, are pretty protective. They are the thickest pads on the helmet, and they will really help when you fall onto the side of your head. Comparing this to my previous trail helmet, the pads are much better and even more high quality. Also, this helmet comes with a spare extra pad set that is a little bit smaller so that you can perfect the sizing of the helmet to your head. But overall, the protection of the helmet has to be tested by an actual crash, which I luckily have not really had one with this helmet yet. Let's talk about another very important feature about this helmet. It's that it has a very big visor on it. This visor is not only for aesthetics, but also keeps the sun and other things out of your face. But it does not move up and down, as it was not meant to be designed to be worn with goggles, to put your goggles up top, but I think it does fit goggles pretty well. And when you're on the climb and you don't want the sweaty goggles in your face, you can just turn the goggles around and wear them on the back of your helmet. But the visor is very sturdy and does not move around while you're riding at all. Unlike my previous helmet, which the visor would fly around and make the most annoying sound after landing a jump. 
Now with all the important stuff done, let's talk about the looks of the helmet and just how cool it looks. I wouldn't even call this a mountain bike helmet. I'd call it an aircraft helmet. It just looks so aerodynamic and just looks super stealthy. And the brand new Iridian colorway that Fox brought for this helmet looks amazing. It's a perfect spin-off of the matte black helmet, but with a little bit of pizzazz in it. They also have multiple other colorways as just a normal black, a really cool looking red, and a white. Which I think they all look very good, but I really like this new Iridian colorway. Another important feature about this helmet is the buckle. The buckle uses a new magnetic latch system, which is actually very secure and very easy to put on and take off. But one thing that comes along with all of these fancy features is the price. At $170, it is a very expensive helmet for a non-full face. But it's still quite a lot cheaper than brain surgery. So if you do not want to go to the ER, this helmet is a perfect solution. After testing this helmet over the course of multiple rides, what score would I give this? Probably a 100 out of 10. This helmet is the best open face helmet that I have ever tried. And it just feels amazing. The quality and the breathability and lightness, it's amazing. And hopefully it will end up saving my head from some pretty sticky situations. Anyway, I hope you liked the video and hopefully this gave you some more information on the new Fox drop frame. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and shred for life. Peace!